Well, hello folks, it's Peter Elgar again here with another lens review. Now this time I'm going to talk about mirror lenses. I've already shown you one, but I've been given another one more up to date. So we look at the two here. I can't even fit it on my copy stand. It's the first one's so huge. Well, I have done a video about this, so I won't spend too much time, but you can Look at the difference between the two. This is the Russian MTO 500 mirror lens with set of filters in a box. It's got a, it's a screw thread fitting, M42 fit on the back, which fits Pentax screw lenses, screw cameras like that, screw mount cameras. And the, at the front, it's got a lens cap, and you can see the mirror construction there. Now that's 500 millimeter f8, and I have used it, and I've done you a video about it and shown you a few results. But that is 1960s vintage, and look at the difference now between that one and the one I've just been given, which is from the Far East, made in Japan, folks. The famous Tamron SP Superior Performance 500mm mirror lens from Tamron. This has got an Olympus mount on, but I do have a Pentax mount because it's what is known as the Adaptor mount. So I've got two mounts for it. It came with the Pentax mount. And I have used it on a Pentax ME Super body. But the lady who kindly gave it to me because her dad died. Look, it, <laughs> getting, it, getting it out of the case. <laughs> oh, it's, it's what you call it. This is what you call an unboxing. <laughs> You've seen these unboxing videos. Oh, there we are. I finally got it out. <laughs> There's an instruction leaflet with it as well. Comes in a push. Little case. I finally unboxed it, folks. Look, this is the difference between that Russian and this is the Japanese one. And they're both 500 millimeter f8. Look how short that one is compared with the Russian. And um, I found it is very useful. I have used it. It comes with some other attachments here. There's a tiny little screwdriver. Um, there's a there's a little um, strap which I haven't put on yet. It's brand new. There's this. It's a tripod mount for attaching it to the tripod, so you can um, balance your lens properly. There's a little tiny screwdriver here for using it with Nikon Mac cameras. It's all in instructions. And then um, there's something here which is a, another little lens which screws in the back you can find filters for it which are 82 millimeters for the front or you can screw them on the back here or bane it in you unscrew that and that's a 30.5 millimeter screwing filter now it does have to have a glass filter at the back otherwise it upsets the optics so I don't have any other it was only the one it came with, but I do have an 82 millimeter for the front. And there's the huge lens, mirror construction, as you can see, compared with same as the Russian. There's a small mirror here, and then there's a large mirror which reflects the light, bends the light backwards and forwards in here, and it comes out the back into your camera through there, and it magnifies up. 10 times more than your 50 millimeter standard lens. Because 500 is 10 times more powerful, isn't it, than your 50. Here's your focusing. Goes down from infinity. The closest focus on this is quite good. You can do quite good wildlife. It goes down to 1.7 meters. And then feet is in green so about five feet or something 
and um, I find it's very sharp I've done some I've done a few with it not a great deal because the weather's been too poor and then I, I do find when I put this on to the camera and this time it's the it's the fitting for the Olympus I find I've been getting under exposure now for some reason look for the red dot red dot with a mirror lens, you don't get accurate exposure, relying on built-in built in metering of your, of your system. It's better to do a separate meter and see how it comes out. Because through the lens metering, with the mirror construction, it tends to give under exposure. But that is the Tamron. This is the lens hood for it, which I've, I use sometimes, but I don't use it all the time. There we are, that screws on like that. And um, you can just about hand hold it if you're very steady, but most of the time it's best to use it on a monopod or a tripod. It's very well made, very smooth focus in here. Comes off the camera very easily. So this is Olympus fitting. And at the rear is your adaptor fitting for your Olympus or you can put another one on Pentax K fitting what you call the adaptor system so I've got my name and address inside the lens cap inside the lens cap or my name and address so if I if it gets knocked off somebody can send it back in the post so there's a quick look at the 500 miller, millimeter mirror lenses from Russia and from Japan Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe and you'll see some more of my videos. Thank you folks. Happy New Year as well.